Welcome to the Rogue Blader headquarters where we do episode reviews, Beyblade battles, battle royales, unboxings, and epic customizations. Hello all you bladers, today we're continuing the ultimate defense type with part 3. So watch the video, have fun, and let it rip. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Last time, for the right spin we had Regalia Genesis, 26 grams, with the wall shape on these sides and metal exposed on the right and left side. And for the left spin we had Mirage as the ring, but I forgot to put the chip, so we have the golden chip core and the Fafnir chip. Alright, before we start with the discs, since Fafnir is a sparking day system layer, um, we have to put a chassis on first. So this is a double chassis, 2S, which means if we put this chassis on, it'll have better burst resistance. But unfortunately, with this chassis, we can't put any of these amazing discs on. Now, if we choose this chassis, one of these two, it'll have less burst resistance, but probably more weight because of the discs. Alright, so since we're making a defense type, we should probably use the 1D chassis, 1 defense chassis, um, not the 1S chassis. So we're going to take the 1S chassis out. Alright, now we have 1D and it's 2S. 1D is 11 grams, 2S is 45 grams, which means even if we put the heaviest disc wheel on 1D, 2S will still be heavier. And 2S aligns with the Mirage layer, plus you can put it in counter mode, so we're not going to be using a single chassis. We're going to be using a double chassis. So, this is the layer, there's no disc, and this is absorb mode, where the rubber is exposed for spin steel and stamina. Then if we flip it, flip the chassis the other way, then you can see that these little metal tabs are exposed for more defense. Right, so we're gonna leave that there now for the, for the Regalia Genesis layer. We are going to put the disc on. Okay, first process of elimination, we are going to eliminate some discs. So first, I want to talk about Sting, Convert, and the Zero Disc. Okay, so all of these discs have weight on the top and bottom portion. Now first, Zero is the lightest, Sting is the second lightest, and Convert is the heaviest, but Convert does scrape, so we're not going to be using Convert, and Sting is honestly just a better version of the Zero Disc because it's spring-loaded and it has more weight, so we're not going to be using the Zero Disc either. Okay, so Sting there. Now we're moving on to the Seven Disc, which is 23 grams, the lightest out of all these discs. And you can put a frame on it, and it was good for its time, good stamina, good weight, but now that we have more heavy discs that have actual gimmicks, like Blitz, Ratchet, and Sting, we're not gonna be using the seven disc. And same with the Vanguard disc and Ratchet disc, they scrape, and even though the Ratchet disc is free spinning, the free spinning gimmick doesn't really work because the frame is wrapped too tightly around the layer. So we're not going to be using these two. Alright, next we have the frames, expand, and wall. Wall has a downward shape, so it scrapes, and on a defense type, we want nothing that scrapes, so we're not going to be using the wall frame. 
Okay, next we have the Blitz Disc, which is good for attack and stamina. But on a defense type, it just won't serve any purpose. It's still a good disc, but just not on a defense type. Okay, now we will decide if we have one of these two or a disc with a frame. So, Double O is 25 grams, Wheel is 31, and Sting is 29. Double O is the lightest, and it has the weight on two sides. But since we already have metal contact points here on the layer, then we don't really need extra weight on that side. So we're not gonna be using the double O, which means we're not gonna be using any frames. Okay, so now it's down to Sting and Wheel. In my opinion, two of the best discs that have been released so far. Wheel has a more downward shape, and although Sting has a spring-loaded gimmick, it doesn't really work that well because you have to push really hard to get it to actually work. And because Wheel is heavier, has more downward shape, and has better stamina, I'm going to be using Wheel. So Sting, out of here. Okay, so first... This we're using wheel. Next we move on to the drivers. Now hybrid is a driver fused with a disc. And since this already has a disc and this already has a double chassis, we can't use hybrid in the Okay, so next we have Opta, which is a driver with metal on it. And whenever you launch it for some reason, at least this does it with mine, because the tip of the bay is so round and sharp, it sort of goes around and the metal scrapes against the side of the stadium. And again, defense sides, we do not want to scrape. Okay, next we have Yard, which um, has a ball attached to its tip and it can perform counterattacks with this line up here, but when you tilt it so it's flat, when you tilt it so it's flat, then it, it completely stops spinning. So it can perform counterattacks, but we do not want scraping. Okay, so next we have these top three. The loop, dip, the loop driver has wheels, but the little nails are wound, wound so tightly around the wheels that they don't even work. So we're not gonna be using the loop disc. Okay, next we have Orbit Metal, which is just a better version of Yard. Um, it has a metal ball attached to its tip, which makes it have extreme stamina. Extend Plus is the best known driver for life after death, maybe besides the Baron driver that released on Altered Cognite and Union Diabolos. But because of the multiple layers, it has life after death, and it's incredibly hard to knock out. But the layers can also lead to it tilting over too much and with the orbit driver, the orbit driver actually has this little ring around it of little pointy spikes that help with reducing knockout, so we're not gonna be using the extend plus to extend plus drive. And so that's the full combo for the right spin, which is Regalia Genesis Wheel Orbit Metal. And off the top of my head, I believe this is about 65 grams, which is pretty heavy, especially considering there are two um, rise parts on it. Now for the left spin, Mirage Fafnir, we might actually use Yard, because although Yard scrapes, it's also on a very wide double chassis. So I don't think it'll give it the opportunity to scrape because the chassis is so wide. And we'll save the battles for the next video. Peace out.